All right, welcome back to Our Attack and Daughters, and we're going to do some shooting with the Gen 2 Glock 2, and we're going to test out some magazines that we've been using on the P80-2240. So at first, we got the original magazine it came with. It's Gen 2 mag with only one thing. Uh, we got some uh, KCI Extra. We got a Glock Plus 2, and we got another KCI mag with a different Plus 2 bottom. So we're going to shoot some ammo out of this gun and see how she does uh, for the first time with the original magazine and we'll see how it goes. Happy every second matters. I gotta put my ear plug in a little bit deeper. That one got a little hot on the old eyeball there. Last round out of that one. I uh, got one round it left in the chamber. There we go. And it would have locked back open if I didn't take the magazine out early. So there we go. 20 something year old uh, Glock mag, no problems. We're going to shoot uh, some rounds out of this one, see how it goes. This is the Glock um, Gen 3 or 4 mag uh, with the plus 2. We'll see how it goes in this gun. This is one I had problems with at the P80 22. Let's find out how it runs in here. So, with that same, say that one runs fine. Let's try the KCI with the plus two in there. See how it does. You notice it doesn't fall out. So, well, let's go with another one and see how it does. So that tells me last that the magazines that I've been using in that gun and in the 17 are not bad because they work fine in this 22. So hold on, we're going to swap up the slide on this with the other one as we diagnose the problem. All right, so we got our factory hot slide off we'll put that to the side here's our p8022 slide and 40. we'll double check and make sure it's still got the 40 slide in it can it or barrel it does so we're going to put it on here so the idea is, is yes it does work empty mag to hold it to hold it back all right so what we're trying to figure out is the slide or is the frame the problem on that p8022 we're going to find out right now with the Glock Plus 2 on it, which is roughly 10 rounds in it. So let's see if we've got any problems. And it locks back. Something's telling me that it's not the slide with these lightning holes in here i can definitely tell the recoil difference can you tell in the video if so let me know down because uh this is just a factory slide this is one's got lightning cuts in it obviously there's i feel a difference can you see the difference in my recoil and how i'm handing it again so here we go with the kci plus five on there hopefully to feed these the slide open mm. 
Let's go ahead and try the plus five with the KCI mag again. Now this time we got a failure to feed. So we'll put that round to the side. There's nothing wrong with it. We can reuse it. And we got, what do we got left here? One, two, three. It'll be a long video, people. Yep. Failure to, uh, to go with the battery on that one. See the battery? Yep, it's in battery all the way. Let's see. And it locks back. So, magazine number 02 has a spring problem. So, we're going to put a new spring in that and a Glock follower. And that should take care of that. And we'll go back to another mag. So, it's safe to say that this slide is fine and my problem might be in the pistol. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take and put the factory gen 2 slide that we tried earlier onto this. So we got it on there. Now this might be a case where uh, those two components don't like each other and this slide here might like this gun. If so, I got somewhat of a dilemma but I got a fix for it eventually. So let's find out. We're gonna put our KCI plus two in here and see how the P8022 does with the Glock Gen 2 slide instead of the Gen 3 slide. So what we got here is the failure to pull it right out of the slide, failure to feed. And the magazine just fell out. Fell out. So I do got a hard trigger, so we'll see if we got that. We'll stick the other uh, KCI mag in. I'm beginning to think that we have a frame problem. So let's find out. We got. Let's see. So we had nothing in the round or in the chamber. So now we're full. Let's see if it drops a magazine out of it. And the magazine fell out. Typical. So let's talk about this this frame or this frame. It's a P80 frame. Um, it has a, I've gone through three, one, two, three, the different magazine releases. This is a factory one with a factory spring, um, and the magazines are falling out. It's something wrong with the gun, plain and simple, um, or the frame, I should say. It's not the. So basically, what I'm gonna do is get me another frame. Now, I'm going to swap this over to 9mm and see if we have any problems uh, with the other. So, there is a backup plan. The backup plan is if I have to take this 22 and turn it into a conversion, then I will. I'll, I'll save the, the frame. Now, also, we also run in um, factory. Because I have plans for my Glock 22 here. So we're going to get rid of those 40s. We're going to get rid of this uh, 40 barrel out of here. Uh, just to let you know that we're running factory guide rods, all 18 pounds, so we shouldn't have no problems. All the ones I got are um, lower than 18 pounds. So we're going to go ahead and put our 9mm conversion barrel in here, get rid of this 40 ammo and the 40 Glock.
make sure I got it up. Had to make sure I got a 17 magazine. Yep, we do. So we're going to go ahead and take our conversion barrel. Can't do this on camera. Because YouTube policies are kind of crazy. We got our extra mag here. Changing out my truck gun today too, so I got some ammo to shoot from it. All right, so we got our conversion nine millimeter over. Let's see, and we got a torque mag. Let's see if uh, the magazine and the nine millimeter have any problem in this frame and slide configuration. Okay, nice and tight. There we go. Let's try, let's try with nine millimeter now. Magazine fell out on nine millimeter. Let's try it again. Let's shoot it. We can so that way, um, unsupported. That way we can see if I'm hitting a magazine release. Obviously, I'm not hitting a magazine release, am I? So I'm not going to waste no more ammo on that because now we know we got a frame problem. So does that say that I got a frame problem or do I got a, uh, kind of hot right there. Cause I've changed this, I've changed the block. So um, I think I got a bad frame. We're gonna find out here in a minute because I'm gonna put the nine millimeter conversion onto my Glock 17 and see how it acts. All right, so we got our Glock 17 here with our nine millimeter conversion barrel on it. Kind of, we're gonna run half the magazine and see what happens. Now, I might have hit that one. Or it might not like that. Let's try it we can, left handed. Well, the problem with that is that uh, your weak hand shooting, so let's try it, support it. Locks back. So I don't think we got a magazine problem on that one. So, let's, so I'm going to take the nine off of here. So it's best to say that we got um, Helps I take the damn magazine out. All right, so we got the nine mils. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put the factory Gen 4. By the way, that was a Gen 3 slide. Back onto my Gen 4 gun. And this is my Glock 17 you hadn't seen in a while, so. Uh, as a 17, so we're gonna take some ammo out. We're gonna reload the magazine and we'll come back in a minute. 
All right, so we're back. We got our 15 rounds loaded up or 14, something like that. We got our Gen 4 back to factory conditions except for the aftermarket barrel and comp that I run on this gun. Um, this is my very first Glock 17 that I bought. Uh, my second Glock overall. So Let's see how she shoots. And we shouldn't have any magazine problems at all. No problems whatsoever, so there's nothing wrong with this frame at all. This setup, except my muzzle breaks loose, happens sometimes. So, final opinion is that there's something wrong with this frame. Um, so, do I get another one and try again? I think so. I'm going to get another one and try again because uh, it was fun to do it, but there's something wrong here with it. And uh, since it isn't, it is this, uh, we'll have to find out and see. So, you know, it could be anything, could have been molded wrong, could have just sat in a warehouse too long, got a little hot, and whatever. But I did do, I did all the pins right. I did this the same way as I did my P8019, and it turned out fine. So, there's really no reason why this shouldn't work. Um, and there we go, because we still had the same problems with both slides on here. So that eliminates all the slides. It eliminates the, um, it having a nine millimeter barrel. It won't work with a nine millimeter barrel conversion either. So, and I can't put a gen four slide on a gen three gun. So, but you can put a three, a gen three slide on a gen four gun like we did. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you stuck around this long, you're troopers. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And we'll catch you next time.